Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here and welcome back to another episode of the Purge SMP server everybody. Now, I do apologize guys that I have not gotten out a Purge in a little while, but that is mainly because I've just been busy and Purge has been a little more difficult to record than other series. Uh, not, nothing's happened with Purge, don't worry. I just haven't been playing as much, but I have been getting a little bit done in the off time. I was gonna record a Purge for you guys for last Monday. But that didn't really work out because the server was down the whole day, so I didn't get a chance to record or actually upload that day either. So, I do apologize for that. But in today's episode, you guys, we are going to be heading to spawn and finding a spot, and if not, beginning to build ourselves our first shop on the server. So, as you can see, I've got a few of the materials in my inventory here. We're going to be using polished andesite hand. We're going to be using polished andesite for the most part of this build. So we're going to make a bunch of that so we can make a stack in 24 of andesite. We're going to be using oak wood, some red stained clay that I bought from Fluffy's new shop, which we will go and check out, and a few other spruce items. So this is going to be a fun, this is going to be a fun shop. I have, a, I have some pretty cool ideas for it. I'm not going to tell you guys what shop it's going to be yet because I have not completely decided yet myself, but we will just have to see. Also, uh, if you guys didn't see before, I brought the farm out two more layers. I also expanded it. So we have a much bigger farm now for wheat. And I'm also probably, maybe in today's episode, I might go ahead and turn one of these rows into just potatoes. Uh, right now, this is my potato plant here. It's been giving me my potatoes. And I want to expand it into more potatoes. So that's going to be my goal. So we'll get a few things done in today's episode. I think it'll be pretty good. But I'm going to head over to spawn right now, and I will see you guys when I get there. Alrighty, guys, we are back at the purge spawn, and I came over here, and we are going to be finding a spot to build our shop today. But before we do any of that, Fluffy has gone ahead and built himself a, sto a shop, so we are going to go and check that out. Here we are. It is the rocks, blocks, and more owned by Fluffy. We will just... <gasps> Creepers can get in here, can't they? Oh my god, oh my god, get out of here. Oh my goodness, putting slabs there, I mean pressure plates, is not the smartest idea on Fluffy's part. That freaked me out. But anyway, let's take a look at what he has here. So he sells things like packed ice, more packed ice, the different clay blocks that he has here. He's got uh, the different logs and different oak wood planks. He's got quote-unquote rocks, which are things like andesite, granite, and diorite. I actually bought this andesite from Fluffy's shop a few days ago. We have the stone, so it's nice smooth stone. I actually might be using this in a few days, so that's pretty good. We have orange clay, and then we have yellow clay. So that's all the stuff Fluffy sells at his shop. Pretty nice first shop on the server. Fluffy gets the pretty high roof. Fluffy gets the courtesy of building the first shop on the server, which is pretty good. And we're going to go ahead and kill these zombies, because I don't know what... I don't know why they're all, like, around here. I don't know if it's, like, a spawning thing or what, but we're just going to take them out here. You did not die. But let's just get rid of... All these Zambonis here, because they are not wanted whatsoever. Okay, go oh, you got a potato, perfect. And in this texture pack I'm using right now, Rotten Flesh is green, so that's a thing. But we need to find a spot for our shop, and I was thinking a few different areas. I'm potentially considering making it just right here next to Fluffy's. Maybe we could make it in another wing of spawn. I'm not sure yet, and I need your opinions on that. Should I make it further away from where Fluffy's building his shop, or should I put it near Fluffy's shop? That way, I can we can kind of bring each other business. I think that would be a smart idea. Do I put it over here, maybe near the mob grinder, where it's going to get a lot of people going by it? Because a lot of people tend to come and use the mob grinder when we get rid of that arrow. But a lot of people come to tend to use the mob grinder over there, the Dayton built. So it's like, where do we want to put the shop where it's going to get the most publicity and the most recognition on the spawn? And... Most of me, most of my head is telling me put it right here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to be putting it right here next to Fluffy Shop. We will make a little door opening for it right here. And this is going to be where we're going to put the shop. So there's going to be a few things we're going to need first. Firstly, we're going to need to lay out the foundations for the shop. So I want to put this three in. So this is going to be the doorway here. So whatever we decide to do, this is the doorway. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the oak wood. If we can get rid of this creeper first. We're going to take the oak wood and we're going to put it up like that, like two pillar blocks. Let's get rid of this. Goodbye, my friend. And why not? Let's just get rid of the skeleton as well while we're at it. Okay, got him. And we can snipe the other skeleton. Pretty sure there was another skeleton over here. Or he died. Alright, that's weird. But let's begin work on this. So, this is going to be the floor. And the floor for this building is going to be made out of the polished andesite. So that's going to be how it looks. We can begin to put down a little bit of a flooring just so we know how this floor is going to look. I think that could look really good. And we're going to put 
Where are my doors? We're gonna put the spruce doors down. I really like in this texture pack at least the contrast between the spruce doors and the oak wood the oak wood, um, just the wood. So I think that looks really nice. And then no, we don't want to do it like that. We're gonna curve it that way, like so. And we're gonna bring it out two on each side. And then bring it out two more. This is gonna stay like that. And then that's on the second one. And this goes out two more. I think that's four in total on the side as well. Yeah, four. Okay, good. And then that can go pillar up one more. Like so. And then we're going to... Can we, do we have room over here? Yes, we do. We're going to cap it. Like so. And then we'll bring it out to... Can we bring it out to here? We'll probably... I'll put more dirt down. But bring it out to here. And then let's build this up. Just so we have a little bit of a framework going. Put this up one more. And then let's bring this out. How far back did we go? We went up to here. And that went up two. All right, nice. That's looking good. That's looking good. And then let's bring this up two as well. I might need to, off camera, I might need to go and grab some more, um, some more oak wood. But that's easy. So now that we have a little bit of the framework done, let's go. And you guys might not understand this yet, but you'll get it once I finish the building. But let's go ahead and add in a little bit of a floor now that we have a little framework going. We can add the floor in, which is going to be, as I said before, all polished andesite. I really want to use more of the 1.8 blocks in my builds this season because in the previous season of Purge, I really like only used like stone bricks and cobblestone and stuff like that. And I want to really branch out this season into using new types of blocks. I think that could be really fun and really cool like aesthetically for people to look at and for you guys to watch. So that's what we're going to be doing. And I really like the contrast between these three blocks. I think this looks really good. Since so we're going to filling these in like that, like this looks really nice already. And let's just go... Let's build this out. That way we know where this ends. Like so. And then we can... We know to fill in this part here. Now we only have... Where can I... Let's just combine these. We only have 40 andesite left. But if I need more, I'll run back to my house and get lapis. And then we can buy more from Fluffy's shop. Which will be good. And let's just see... We'll just have to see how much we can fill in right now. So let's just continue to fill this in. We have 22 more andesite to use. Which should fill in 3... Six, nine. That's going to be nine more andesite right here. And then I think we might actually have enough. Yeah, I think we're going to have... No, that's not it. I think we're going to have just enough andesite to fill in the floor, which is going to be really nice. This is That was really convenient of us. Yeah, we're going to have just enough. Perfect. All right. So now that the floor is done and we have all of that laid out, what we're going to do now is I'm going to build that out to more like that. And this is going to go to more like that. And that's the main design of the building. Now, the other parts of this we can do is if we want to place down a crafting table here, we can do that. And I'm going to make more of this into glass panes. Perfect. We have a stack now. And what we're going to do is these walls are going to be lined with the glass panes. So it's going to go all around the middle here. And it's also going to reach out into here. So that's going to be the that's going to be where the glass panes go. Like so. And I think this is going to look really nice. Let's keep going here. Oh, that glitched. But, alright. Alright, fill that in. And there. And then we can do another one here. And that is the main design of the building. I'm really liking this. This is, this is looking good. And we can also put the glass here. Actually, that doesn't look very good now that I think about it. Let's change it. Also, I have silk touch on my axe. So, if I need glass back, that's what that's for. And then, what we're going to do is we're going to put two pieces of wood here. For the door and it's looking good so far it's definitely looking good we can put this if we really want to use this crafting table we'll just put it in the floor for now i think that would probably be the best thing for it this is looking good i'm really did i fire that i don't even know I... <laughs> that was a bit of delay but i'm really liking the design of this so far let me know what you guys think we can this needs to go up one more though so let's just we can quickly add in the next layer now, one thing about these layers of glass is that I haven't decided how many layers we're going to do on here. I might keep it to one. I'm not sure for design purposes, but these side windows are going to be all too high. So there we are. Let's get that glass pane back. And I think we should have enough if I did my counting right when I was building this. I went ahead and I built this in a creative world, a creative single player world, the shop. So I have a picture of it on my second monitor. And I'm looking at how I want to do it. But now looking at this part, not 100% sure what I want to do. How does that look? Eh, I don't know. We'll do one side of that and I'll let you guys, you guys can decide what you guys think of that. I think that looks, looks, 
I guess it looks good. I guess we'll keep the original design. That looks pretty nice. Okay, so there we are. And that's the interior. So we're, we can put the signs down. We'll put a sign outside saying, Work in Progress Shop. WIP. Work in Progress Shop. By Linky. All right. There we are. So that's the basic design of our shop done. I want to know your opinions, guys. What do you think of this new shop design? Do you like it? Do you think there's anything we could change about it? Uh, if you, Whatever you guys say, I'll make any changes to it off camera, and then I'll show it off in the next episode. And I might even go ahead and finish it off camera. We will have to see. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode of the Purge SMP server. If you did, please be sure to leave a like down below and a comment. It would be very much appreciated. And if you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button because it definitely supports me and all the content I create. And as always, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Scared to